Hello everyone, welcome to this one. Uh, in this video, we're going to continue the work we have started for implementing traffic management following the GitHub Labs, which I love absolutely. And we have done the last two, provisioning the lab environment and the configuration of the hub and spoke network topology in the last section. And uh, what we have, we have uh, three different virtual network over here. We have four different VMs and we have done some PRA. Okay, so if you go to the VNet1, go back to our peering, you see that one, we have connection established to two and three. Okay, so one is connected to two, one is also connected to three, but two and three, there is no connection. Prove that. Go back there, go to two, go to peering, and you see over here, two is connected to one, but two is not connected to three directly. Same thing over here, if you go to three, and look at the peering, your three is again connected to one, but three is not directly connected to two. So what it is, Azure by default, it does not allow transitivity, just because you have you know your one is connected to two and one also connected to three doesn't mean that two can talk to three now before we do anything we're going to do some taste transitivity so let's just go to task three and which is over here so what we're going to do we're going to go back and open up our network watcher blend And in this network watcher, I have deployed all the resources in the East US. So I'm going to go to East US, and it usually gives me uh, some options to uh, configure some text. You don't even have to go there. You just go over here and go to the connection troubleshoot, right? And in this one, if you look at it, it's it has got a source and a destination. So you're going to troubleshoot your connection between a source and a destination. So the resource group that we're going to stick to is RG1. Uh, and we're going to use a virtual machine for our testing and we are going to use the vm0 and we are going to try to connect to let's just use manually and use 106204 that is really the ip address or the private ip address of the vm2 so from virtual machine 0 which is in vnet1 i'm trying to go to vm2 and we have peering, so we should be all right. So here, we want to say 3389, there is the RTP port, and hit check, and see what is the status of our connection. So it's telling, it's going to tell me uh, what is going to be the status. And what I'm expecting, that it's going to say that, yeah, it's reachable, because I have the peering enabled. Okay, once this is done, so it takes a little bit of time, to confirm everything is working good in this particular tool you know if you prefer you can also go and do a ping maybe and that probably satisfy your your quest uh, but just if you're using this tool just be patient give it a minute and it will tell you what's actually going on so once we are done with this one we're also going to look at uh, rg1 i mean the vm0 and we're going to go to uh, the vm3 okay so here if you see it says reachable uh, it's also checking for some uh, agents so there's a network watcher agent 1.4 and it's giving you some hops and stuff like that so you started here your next hop was here uh, and then here's the nick uh, where you have this ip assigned to it okay so some stuff in here now so we know that our connection is good so do the same thing for the other one so over here it's still vm0 but this time we're going to use 10.6304 which is uh, the vm3's private ip address and let's just check the connectivity for this one so again i'm just checking the connectivity and again what we think is going to happen it's also going to say okay yeah it's all good because one virtual network one and three are also connected because they appear and in the third one uh, so you see it's also said reachable and similar kind of output in here now on the third one 
what we want to do third one let's just change that uh, vm let's just come back over here so now let's just change that to vm2 okay so we i told you that it's not transitive so between vm2 and vm3 there should not be any connectivity and this is still the ip address of the vm3 so let's just keep it there and let's come back over here hit check and this time what i'm expecting i'm expecting that it should say unreachable because there is no transitivity and if you see the note over here this is expected since the two spoke virtual networks are not paired with each other virtual network peering is not transitive okay so this give it another minute and once we uh, validate our configuration we're going to end the video and the next one we're going to configure the routing in the hub and spoke topology so give it just a second and we should be done with this part of our task and as you see now the check is now completed and it's unreachable and now this time i have a, a really warning sign listed here it says yeah you can't go there and there's no hop uh, nothing out there so i know that my topology is, is looking good so that's the end of my task so the next one we're going to configure routing so now your vm2 can talk to vm3 but it has to go through our hub hub is the place where we are going to implement our security monitor traffic things like that all right let's see you guys in the next video